Let's get started with the Miata hub installation. First of all, take the assembly out of the box, of course. Uh, notice that the seal is assembled in the back partially. We're going to remove that here in a minute. The first thing we want to do is remove this dust cover. And we do that by removing the four flathead screws. Okay, let's pop the cap off. Take notice that if this cap ever gets sticky, if you use RTV sealing on it or just for some reason it's sticky, there's two small tapped holes 180 degrees apart. These same screws that hold the cap on, you can screw them into those holes and use them as jack screws, jack screws so they pop the cover off. Next, there's a nut, a retaining nut, and you remove that. Um, take note that there's a screw, a socket cap screw here on the side that tightens this together so it does not index on the threads. It's a split nut, as we call it. And also take notice that you'll see little scribe marks around the face here. And I'll show you what we use those for. It's a reference indicator. We'll show you a little bit later in the video. You remove the bearings. Take note that the bearing on the face side where the wheel goes, it's got a yellow dot on it. See it? We do that so that you can match it back to the same race it came out of. Don't interchange the bearing cage with a different race. They're made as we're informed to match each other. Pull this back seal out of it. There's also a seal spacer washer. Pop the seal out. And pop the bearing out. Okay, now we're going to grease the bearings. I'll show you a little trick doing this. Get yourself a handful of grease, spread it around your palm a little bit, and take the large side of the bearing. We can see this side of the bearing, not that side. And just start scraping it. You turn the bearing a little bit at a time. Just keep doing this method. Turn it. Definitely need to wear gloves for this stuff. And so you want to push that grease through the bearings so that you see how it comes through the other side these little spots right here <clears throat> so once you go all the way around the bearing on that side smear some more grease in your palm and turn the bearing over and do it from the other side and you're just taking the edge of the bearing and, and pushing the grease into it just like that See. all the way around and now your bearing is full of grease so just wipe off the excess in the center of the hole and on the outside and install it into the hub and that's a quick way to grease your bearing Okay, let's install the seal now. First thing you want to do is make sure your bearing is greased and it's in, installed on the back side of the hub. The seal will be installed. As you can see, there's a re recess here. You'll see a little spring around the lip there. That side goes towards the bearing, just like that. The first thing you want to do is get it started with your thumbs. You can almost press it in with your thumbs but we want to make sure it's uniformly in there all at the same time. We don't want to bend it. 
So now that it's partially in there, I'm going to flip it over. Of course, I'm on a hard, flat surface. A workbench or table will be fine. And I'm going to put both hands down on here, and I'm going to put all my weight onto it. I could feel it. I could feel the seal get go in. So let's inspect it, make sure it's all flush, and it is. In the event that you uh, have an area that is not flush, and you can't get it all the way in there, set the assembly down on the flat surface, take a wooden dowel or plastic or aluminum in the area where it's raised, give it a little tap. You'll tap the flange face. Now it's all the way in. There are no edges that are not flush. In the event that you distort or ruin the seal during installation, you can buy them from Mazda Motorsports. The part number is listed on the directions that come with the assembly. Here's a method of removing the, the seal from the back. You will install it without the front bearing inside of it, which would be the bearing on this side, the flange side. You'll take your nut, screw it back on. You can screw it about halfway on, it doesn't have to go all the way on. And then take the hub and pull it towards you. Give it a good whack. And that's how you remove the seal. Okay, let's install the hub assembly onto the spindle. First thing that goes on the spindle is a seal spacer. This washer's got a counter sunk on one side, it's flat on the other. The counter sunk. Uh, chamfer side goes towards the spindle, just like that. Next, the hub, hub assembly should have its seal installed, bearings greased, and it slides over the spindle. Now when it gets to a little point where it stops, you want to push it the rest of the way on so that the seal spacer gets inside of the seal, just like that. Okay. Next, we're going to install the nut. As you can see on the face of this nut, there's little lines. Those will be of use here in a few moments. We'll go over that as well. Install the nut. With the hex on the outside. Using a one inch socket, snug the nut down. Do not over tighten it. You'll feel it come to a, a little snug point there. That's good. What we're going to do next is we're going to install the wheel. And then we're going to cover how to remove slack out of the bearings. Now that we have the wheel installed, we're going to torque this one inch nut to 30 foot pounds. Then going to back it off 90 degrees. So I set my wrench to the three o'clock position. And I rotate it to the 12. Now I check the slack and put my hands at 12 and 6 o'clock on the wheel. 
pull it back and forth and I can feel a little bit of rock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this nut in. I'm going to use the keyway for reference. I got these little lines on the outside of that nut that we were looking at earlier. And I'm going to go one line at a time until that slack is gone. So I take my... First before we do this, let's rotate the tire a few times, get the grease uniform in that bearing. Do not rotate the tire when you have 30 foot-pounds of torque on that nut. It'll distort the cage of the bearing. Now, we're going to go one line at a time. I can see I moved it one line. Now I'm going to check the slack again. I still feel slack. So, let's go one more line. At this point, I do not feel any slack. Now, it's better to be one line loose than one line tight. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to tighten up the split nut. And the way we do that is we have to remove the tire. So, let's go ahead and do that. I removed the rotor and the wheel. Now it's time to tighten this nut. The way we tighten this nut so it does not move at this point is we tighten the socket head cap screw over here on the side with an Allen wrench. It's a 3 16 Allen wrench. Make sure to get it nice and tight. Again, don't forget to tighten that screw. If you don't tighten that screw, this nut backs off. Bearings slide out. Not a good thing. All right, now at this point, what I want to do is I want to make sure I got that screw tight enough. So I'm going to mark this nut with a Sharpie, my sweet spot here where I set the bearings. And I'm going to take that torque wrench and I'm going to try and, at 30 foot pounds, I'm going to try and back it off, see if it comes loose. It does not. We're all set. So now, next, next thing we do here is wipe off any excess grease you got and install the four flathead cap screws for your dust cap. Um, install your uh, rotor, your brakes, wheel, and let's go burn some corners. <laughs> 